surrounding business owners who we have talked about in the past. Their storefronts will be true. Coming up, why one Central Coast professor is teaching it, using it, I should say, as a teaching tool. Second Life. Your Lena and Chief Meteorologist. One Central Coast professor is using it as a teaching tool. I'm Olga Ospina. Did you know virtual empire where you design your destiny? Second Life is an online world where millions of people are living out just that, a second life. KION 46's Jamie Soriano explored it in cyberspace and has this report. Second Life is an online world where you can be anyone you want to be. It's a place where you decide your name, where you live, even what you look like, all in the form of an avatar, a virtual character of your own creation. Meet Bruce Damer of Boulder Creek, also known as... My avatar's name is Digi Weaver. His digital double. He says Second Life is more than just fun and games. When you get into Second Life, you have to make your own reality. You have to decide who you are and go in and you could you could see it like a game but it's more like real life. You're defining your reputation, you're creating stuff, you're defining a social network. Damer is known as one of the pioneers of the virtual world. He says Second Life is nothing new. He's been following the trend since the early 90s and even wrote a book about it. This book was was written as a user's guide to avatar cyberspace and all the different different worlds that you can go into. A second life for himself, Damer says, this latest 3D world is reaching new heights. You buy your own land and you own it and you can do you can really design your avatar and create incredible costumes and stuff. The intention behind Second Life was to create a world uh, not just a bunch of people connected together in some way, but a world in which everything was built by us, by the people who were there, in a kind of a Lego block sort of way, to kind of redo the laws of physics. Philip Rosedale is the mastermind behind Second Life, an enormous world with oceans, gardens, and discos. It makes money mainly by charging a monthly fee for the land its members own. The site claims more than two million residents. In reality, there are about 20,000 users at a given time. It's a growing virtual empire. Big name music artists like Jay-Z have played concerts here. Reuters news agency has a presence. Even car makers, including Toyota, are joining in. I wondered what all the hype was about. So I created my own avatar to explore the world of Second Life. Here I am, and while I'm not exactly sure what I'm supposed to be doing here, I'm beginning to learn there are countless possibilities in this virtual place. Second Life has opened a door of new opportunities for many colleges and universities, including the Monterey Institute of International Studies. Bob Cole is an instructor there and the director of the Absolutely Intensive amazing. English program. And, you know, you walk around and you kind of think this, it's, it's so real in a lot of ways because you can actually interact with a person just like I'm interacting with you. He plans on using Second Life with his grad students so they can interact with other language learners around the world. It's just one potential piece of kind of the ideal classroom. It's, it's one way to bring people together uh, in a shared space. Jennifer Austin, or as she's called in Second Life, Vienna Northmead, is already experimenting with it. For language learning opportunities, I thought, wow, if we're meeting people from all around the world, just at the, you know, the tip of your fingertips, so we can come together in Second Life wherever we want, whatever environment we choose. The school is even considering purchasing land in Second Life and building a digital university. There are people all over the world who need to learn languages, who need to learn to talk to each other, who need to learn about international policy making, um, who um, are, are hungry to interact with the terrific people that we have here, and they can do that in Second Life. So exhilarating. In a virtual world, anything is possible. It really depends on who you are, but people get a lot out of these worlds. Uh, but it depends on what their dreams are in life and what their needs, unfulfilled needs are. Bruce Damer says virtual worlds like Second Life will become mainstream. But I'm hoping that we're going to move in virtual worlds to like where movies were by 1930. You, you had voice and sound and it was a business. You had a studio system as a mature thing. And I think that we're, we're, we're going to get there. The virtual worlds will be this new way of being in cyberspace. So versatile. 
So Jamie Soriano reporting in Second Life. Real U.S. money is changing hands for things that only exist online. Some users are even making a living off of it by selling virtual items that they have created. Now, if you want to check out what this whole Second Life thing is all about, you can log on to our web channel, kion46.com, and when you get there, click on Featured Links. Enlightening stuff. Mm, very interesting. Yeah, new guidelines from the FDA to protect you.